Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Well, this week, students at Scripps Ranch will get a brand new, first of its kind lab to teach them all about science and technology. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons in the Live Center. Jared, this one's for some of the youngest kids in San Diego. Hey, Virginia, Jim, we usually hear about STEAM labs for middle school or high school students. The one opening tomorrow is at Jarabek Elementary School. It's the first STEAM lab at an elementary school in the San Diego Unified School District. And it's getting kids as young as kindergarten excited about science and engineering. That's a heck of a coding sequence over there. We've got um, a technology for every grade level. Inside the Jarabek Elementary STEAM Lab. And right now we're really emphasizing in coding and robotics. Students as young as five years old are preparing for the jobs of the future. It is really helping kids learn things that are important for the real world in a way that's exciting for them. From mini robots to 3D printers, kids in every grade, K through five, get one day every two weeks to get hands on with science, technology, engineering, arts and math, the five components of STEAM. It just makes sense for elementary schools to really start building those um, skill sets within the young minds. Parents, many of whom work in STEAM fields, came up with the idea in 2017. Since then, they've volunteered to make it a reality and act as role models for the next wave of STEAM employees. You know, we want it to be their environment. We want the kids to feel a sense of ownership and um, to feel empowered to come in here and really just start taking chances and risks and do things that um, will really enhance their skill set. Making STEAM Day the part of school the kids look forward to the most. And I have a kindergarten new here, so every day it's, Mom, is it STEAM Day for me today? It's pretty exciting. The school received about $150,000 worth of donated equipment to help make the lab a reality. And even though it's been open and kids have been using it for a little while now, they're going to hold an official ribbon cutting ceremony at the school tomorrow. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Jared, thank you. Just a few hours.